So we were saying that the Arabs, which Muhammad والسلام, is an Arab. So where did the Arabs come from? So the Arabs originated from Yemen. And when we study, inshallah, the story of Nuh السلام, we can go into those details. But for now, I just want to mention that the Arabs originated from Yemen. If you remember, we talked about one of the classes about the Islam before the, uh, the Arabian Peninsula before Islam. We mentioned a little bit, some details about the Arabs. So there's the original Arabs, which we only know uh, some of what we know is mentioned in the Quran. Uh, Al-Arab Al-Ba'idah, it's called the Arab Al-Ba'idah or the original Arabs. And there is what they call Al-Arab Al-Musta'ribah or the Arabs, Arabized Arabs, Arabized Arabs, or in imitation of the Arabs. And inshallah, we'll talk about that uh, shortly. So in Yemen, they used to have a dam called Sad Ma'rab, or the Dam of Ma'rab. During the time we were talking about, during the time of Hajar and Ismail and the incident of Zamzam, this incident was taking place in Yemen. So a scholar exaggerated that there was no dam bigger than that dam that was in Yemen. And because the people in Yemen disobeyed Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala punished the people of Yemen as he punished people um, before by destroying that dam. And life in Yemen became unbearable. So the tribes in Yemen, they tried to migrate away from Yemen uh, to go to different places to look for life. From among those tribes in Yemen, it was a tribe called Jorhum. It was a, call, a tribe called Jorhum. This tribe of Jorhum migrated from Yemen looking for a place to live in. So Yemen became flooded because of that dam that it became... Uh, it, it's not livable anymore at that time. So most of the tribes migrated from Yemen to different places. And one of the tribes that's going to settle, inshallah, in Mecca, the first tribe to settle in Mecca was called the tribe of Jorhum. So while Jorhum was traveling, they didn't know where, where they were going. They're just traveling, looking for life. They saw birds circling in the sky. So at that time, that's how they knew there was life, or that's how they knew there was water. When there is birds, there is water. So Jorhum, the tribe of Jorhum asked themselves, there must be a life out there. So they followed the direction of where the birds are circulating. And remember that Mecca is in deep valley. And inshallah, when you go to Mecca in the future, you'll notice that when you, you land in Medina and then you go to Mecca, going from Medina to Mecca, you're going actually deep because it's surrounded by mountains to the point that you, you, you feel the pressure in your ears. It's, it's so deep, you feel the pressure in your ears. So, Jorhum followed the directions of the birds until they came to the valley of Mecca in which they found a surprising thing. They found Hajar and Ismail alayhi salam alone. What are these people doing alone by themselves? A weak woman with her baby son and next to them is the well of Zamzam. So the Arabs had a lot of characters and good morals at that time. They could have just told her, get away, get lost. This is ours, this is our property. But they had good characters and morals at that time. So they asked her, they said, would you allow us to drink from this water of Zamzam and we'll take care of you in return. We'll give you food and we'll work, even work for you. So she accepted because Hajar loved to be around people. So Jorhum, the tribe of Jorhum became the first tribe to live, to live in Mecca and to live with Hajar and Ismail. And apparently, Ismail grew up with the tribe of Jorhum. 
he learned the Arabic language because Jorhum spoke the Arabic language and he became the best speaker in the best in speech of the Arabic language. So Ismail became Arabized by the tribe of Jorhum. Ismail did not speak the Arabic language, but he learned the Arabic language from them and he became Arabized and he became the best in speech. So, and obviously, Ismail السلام, was a prophet. So they followed him and they followed his Sharia, the Sharia of Ibrahim السلام, through Ismail. So what was the religion at that time when Jorhum, the tribe of Jorhum came and lived with Hajar and Ismail? It was the religion of Tawheed, the religion of Islam. Now, from there civilization start to take place because Ismail السلام, married from Jorhum, the tribe of Jorhum, huh? and civilizations took place in the valley of Mecca because Mecca at that time was an empty valley. So as we said, Ismail السلام, married from Jorhum and had descendants from the Jorhum tribe. And when Ismail was 16, Ibrahim السلام, was commanded by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to build the first house of worship in Mecca. And scholars, the majority of scholars agree that that was the first time Ibrahim السلام, came back to see Hajar and Ismail since he brought them the first time and left. The majority of scholars agree that it was the first time. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commanded Ibrahim alayhi salam to build the first house of Mecca. So he came back and Ismail, him and Ismail built the first house of Mecca. While Ismail was gathering the, uh, the rocks, Ibrahim alayhi salam was building the house of worship. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commanded Ibrahim to call people to pilgrimage. And Ibrahim was wondering, how am I going to do that? Who's going to hear my voice? So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, you just call on people to come do the pilgrimage and the rest on us. So Ibrahim alayhi salam called the people to make pilgrimage. And up to this days, we have millions and millions of people go every year to perform Hajj. So again, during that time, Ismail was a prophet and the religion that was during that time is the religion of Islam, religion of Tawheed. Now what happened then? What happened after that? We're not going to focus too much on the story of Ismail. When we get to it, inshallah, then we can uh, um, go through it in details. But down the line of history, another tribe came in to Mecca by the name of Khuza'a. This tribe is called Khuza'a. And they also, they are also Arabs and they, they also came from Yemen. And for a reason or another, Khuza'a fought, uh, fought Jorhum, the tribe of Jorhum, to take leadership over Mecca. And for a reason or another, Khuza'a won and took over the leadership of Mecca. Now, to pay them back, the tribe of Jorhum, what did they do? They actually blocked or clogged the, the, uh, the, uh, the Zamzam. They clogged the well of Zamzam. Because nobody, because the, 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 the tribe that came, Khuza'a, did know about the, the well of Zamzam. But Jorhum, since they lived there for years, they knew the ins and outs of Mecca. So they clogged, as a payback, they clogged that, the well of Zamzam. 